everyone welcome back to my channel in today's episode i would like to share with you my final coaching in lie detection and interrogation i hope you watch till the end for you to learn some tips and techniques okay but please don't forget to like share and subscribe and hit that bell button for more episodes to watch okay see you in a bit audio jungle There's no room for you to compare each other's answer. There's no room for you to compare from letter A to letter D. What I want you to know and learn is your final answer. And that is your uh, final answer na isusulat. At ito ay magkakaresulta. Okay? Naiintindihan ha? Huwag nyo nang i-compare yung A, B, C, D. Few more days na lang to. You've done that already on your rationality days. There's no room to go back reading. Huwag nyo babalikan. I-compare. Okay? Naintindihan? Ang gagawin natin, kung ano yung sagot, yun na yun. Yun na yun, class. And do not uh, exert so much time in dealing with the questions. So, but this time around, we are on polygraph. No? Lie detection and interrogation. Ang sabi sa question number one class, a diagnostic instrument. Okay. Instrument being used in graph examination that is capable of monitoring and recording. Ma'am, peanuts! No? Alam na namin yan, ma'am. Yes, but you are with me now in final coaching. At minimum, respiratory, electrodermal, cardiovascular activity, uh, and to verbal or visual stimuli. So, pag si natin, it's cardiovascular. It's more of cardiovascular daw. Okay? Ang daming pagpipilian. Bakit maraming pagpipilian? Because they are trying to confuse you because they are testing you in this kind of examination how good you are. How good are you? So, ang nilagay nila dyan, lahat may grab sa dulo. Okay? So, makukonfuse ka kung hindi ka masyadong, masyadong nag-pay attention at nag-aral. Okay, class. In lie detection in an interrogation, walang papasok na ibang subject. So focus ka itong ni dinadaldal ni Ma'am Santos is all about what? Lie detection and interrogation. Okay. So, itong on your screen, the four uh, choices in front of you class. Nakikita niyo naman, ano? So all of them has something to do with what? Lie detection and interrogation. Okay. Nilagyan daw ng graph. But hindi nyo nalalaman, may trick dyan. Dahil magkakarime, ibig sabihin na magkakarime, magkakatunog. No? Ang daming pagpipilian. Okay. Pneumograph, it's all about respiratory. Galvanograph, more of a skin for perspiration. Yan. Tandandaan nyo yung mga keywords. Yan lang pag-aaralin natin ngayon para magkamap ka sa tama. How about seismograph? You never encounter seismograph during your college day in polygraph. So, nilito ka na agad. Seismograph is an instrument to detect the force of an earthquake. Force and duration. Yun lakas at gano katagal ang earthquake. So, it has nothing to do with the question. Okay? So, polygraph. So, what do you think is the best answer, class? Anyone? Polygraph, ma'am. Yes, thank you so much. Polygraph. Why? Because we are uh, in uh, lie detection and in interrogation. Okay. Number two. Question number two. A person who is skilled and capable to detect deception or verify truth of statement with the use of instrumentation. Okay, class, you need to analyze. Okay, some of you here, hindi masyadong naaapektuhan na malapit na yung board exam. But, Kahit na ganun ang mangyari, I want you to apply everything that you have learned. And you have learned investigation. And in investigation, you have the what? Six cardinal points. 
what are those? I-apply nyo. We have what? 5 W's and 1 H. Ha? Huh? Ang tawag, di ba? 6 cardinal points of investigation. Ang 5 W's and 1 H. Tama? Okay. I-apply mo kaya para meron ka namang makuha tips and techniques sa akin. Okay. Sabi sa question number 2. A person who is skilled and capable to detect deception. Person answers the who question. O, one W agad ang pumasok. No? So, you, you need to analyze talaga. And then, followed by skilled and capable. Itong person na to, what is need to be able to what? To detect. So, skilled dapat. Diba? ba? Why do we need to detect another Y, uh, another W question? Diba? ba? And what is that kind of instrument? So, you need to answer everything for the 6W or oh, 5Ws in 1H. Okay? Now, ano sabi ulit ni Ma'am Santos? We will not focus uh, to any kind of subject, to any kind of words na papasok sa apat na pagpipilian. Okay? So, question document examiner is not the one for detecting deception. The same with fingerprint examiner. And of course, there's no crime to be investigated, so there's no need for criminal investigator. So, a matter of eliminating all those choices na hindi kasali. But please, do analyze the questions, ha? Kasi baka merong trick na naman na pumasok dyan, class. No? So, we are talking about polyglot. So, the answer will be what? Letter? Answer. May alam? B, ma'am. B. Polyglot. Yes, polygraph examiner. Thank you for answering. Okay, you participate para class gagana yung brain natin kasi medyo natutulog yan eh, no? So, you need to use that, analyze and then answer. Okay? Okay, polygraph examiner. Question number 3. A kind of response that deviates from normal tracing of the subject in the relevant question daw. Okay, you need to analyze. Isang uri ng res pagresponde, no? Pero nililihis niya sa tro normal tracing. Bakit kaya? So, don't you don't you notice class na laging may trick questions and mayroon ding pang gulo na sagot. Okay? So, if it debates the relevant question kung nanlilihis siya, normal tracing na sana. 'Di ba? May normal na sinabi. Does it mean normal din? Hindi po. Kasi bakit? Mayroon siyang pangontra. May deviating, no? May deviates na word. So, what is your answer? Come on, class. Question number three. What is your answer for question number three? Huwag kayong mag-search. Huwag kayong mag-backread. Wala lahat, ha? Okay? Ito na yung magiging final answer nyo. If you happen to what? encounter this question. The question uh, question number 3 is answer walang may alam, walang may kasiguraduhan Bravo. Yes Bravo. Yes Thank you very much Micah, Mark and others. The answer is Bravo Sabi nga nila Micah Okay, class in 100 items that we're going to tackle for today's uh, final coaching Tandaan nyo, 5, 10, 15 or 20, much less to 20 5 questions, 10 questions when it comes to criminalistics. So, sa 100 na aarali natin for today, we may never know kung ano dyan. Okay? And that's the reason why I want you to know and learn the tips and techniques para matandaan nyo. Again and again, I will say that to you. No back reading, no comparison of answer. Kung ano yung binigay, yun na yun. Okay, final answer is your final result. Question number four. The purpose of this space is to get confession from the subject. So, meron kang ini-aim. May purpose. Okay, you need to analyze it. Misan, ang hirap ng tanong class. Sasabihin ko sa inyo, misan, napakadali naman. Lima, sampu, kinse, ilan. ba? Okay, may purpose daw. What is the purpose? then answers the 6W or 5Ws again in 1H. What is the purpose of this space? You need to get confession from the subject. Alpha, letter A, interview with the investigator of the case. Everybody knows that there's no confession during interview. You are just getting all records, 
pertinent records, you are just gaining uh, yung kanyang um, tiwala. So, you are just um, preparing for the interview, the pretest, no? Pretest, in- okay, marami nagkakamali rito. Pag sinabi nga ang salita ay may PRE, Papa Romeo Echo, ito po class ay meaning bago. Pag sinabing post, pagkatapos na, ha? Okay, nagkakamali po kasi ang iba dyan. Oh, let me just uh, rectify all those small errors at the time na nag discussion tayo, no? Okay, pre-test interview. May confession bang magaganap? Siyempre, wala. Okay? The conduct of instrumentation. Sa tingin mo, may makukuha ka bang confession? Kasi yun ang gusto ng question, eh, class. No? To get confession. And I know for a fact, some of you here knows what confession is. Diba? Saan mo makukuha yan? From the subject daw eh. Oh. So you will be meeting your subject, subject during what? Anong answer, class? Letter D. Tama? Interrogation. Why? Because you, you will be getting the confession from the subject. Okay? Interrogation. Interrogation in interview is almost the same. They, they have one common denominator. And that is the type of questioning, no? Questioning sila parehas. Ang pagkakaiba lang, yung type of questioning class. Very user-friendly ka, para kang gumagamit ng Nokia. Pero yung isa naman, interrogation, para kang gumagamit ng what? Ng Apple. ba? Diba? So, mas ma- matindi yung, uh, yung interrogation. Why? Because you are dealing with the suspect. Okay? The reason why you need to get and you have the purpose, purpose and you need to get confession from the subject. For which wala ito sa letter A up to C. Okay ba, class? Nakakasunod. Yes, ma'am. Mabilis ba? Tama so, na. Alright. Okay Sige. lang, ma'am. Makinig lang, ha? Okay, an alternate term. Okay, final coaching, ma'am, to eh. Oo nga, final coaching tayo, O, oh, ano ngayon itong alternate term na to? Sige, anong pagkakaalam mo kung ano pa yung pwedeng itawag? For those of you na medyo konti lang yung ka-Inglesan, no? Dadagdagan natin para hindi kayo malilito. So, cardiospigmograph. You pronounce that are cardio as cardiospigmograph. Okay? But any pronunciation will do as long as you understand and as long as you know what is to answer. Okay? So, ano daw yung pwedeng itawag pa doon sa, sa device na yun? Huh? Na nagre-record ng pulse wave and relative blood volume. Remember class, in PNP Forensic Group, isang malaking-malaking criminalistics po yan. Okay? Yan ay isang malaking criminalistic na kapag nilingon mo, ay yan na yan. Okay ba yun, class? So, meaning, kung anong meron, yun na yun. Kailangan definite lagi ang mga result. Dahil ang mga examiners, kasi I for one is an examiner, forensic examiner po ako, nakataya ang pangalan, lisensya, and every, karir, karir mo sa bawat resulta. Okay? So, hindi pwedeng mag, magbiro ang siyensa, sabi nga. And now, here you are dealing with what? Recording. And recording is a part of documentation. Yan lang naman talaga lagi. Okay? isang buong building all after for what? Identification and documentation. And that is what we are doing. Now, a part of this is polygraph or uh, lie detection. Now, here comes the question uh, to be answered by the examinees and they're trying to ask what is the alternate term for the device that records records is a part of documentation pulse wave and relative blood volume okay, kung hindi nalilito ito daw ay magbibigay ng exacto, precise ng the current expression, cardiograph no? so, 1930s hanggang 1950s, huwag kayong magkakamali hanggang dun lang yun ha hindi siya lumagpas okay, so what is the best answer for the question number 5 answer class Okay. May. Yes. Okay. Some of you answer A, B, C, Z. Okay. Let me check. Very good. Who answers uh, Alpha? No? Uh, Cardiospigmograph. Why? Okay. Una, ang hint mo dyan, 
Okay? Ang hint na ibibigay ko dyan sa inyo, class, they are talking about cardio. If in case makita mo si cardio, cardio means heart. Recording everything about blood volume and pulse wave. Okay? That speaks of chart. That speaks of graph. Okay? Pneumograph is what? All about breathing, respiratory. Wag nyo palalimin. Let's make it very light and easy, class. No, you need to 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 make it very light and easy in order for you to very to understand in a very light manner. Kasi kung pahihirapin mo pa yan, mas mahihirapan. Tatagal ka sa question. Okay? This is a marathon review system. Eh, final coaching tayo. Pahihirapan mo yung sarili mo. Nyo mo grab. It's all about breathing. Galbanograph, it's all about skin. Karang, mga ganon. Chemograph, it's all about what? Diba? Instrument. Okay? So, bilisan lang and kunin mo yung technique para mas mabilis at kung sigurado ka at may tiwala ka sa sagot mo, sagot agad. Okay? Huwag kang umistambay dun. Marami pang mga tanong na kaabang. Alright? In polygraph examination, the term examination means detection of what? Answer. Detection. Yes. Who answered that? Identify yourself. Christian. Very good. Deception. You know why, class? Napaka-easy ng tanong sa una lagi, ano? Okay, sasagutan natin yan at alam kong very easy naman yan hanggang hulihan. Magiging easy yan kahit uh, malito pa kayo or litohim pa kayo, no? In polygraph examination, the term examination daw means detection of what? Okay, ang sagot ay Christ, ni Christian ay uh, deception. Why? Because we are not detecting any forgery here. We are not detecting emotions. We are not detecting any kinds of uh, our, our minds rather, no? Yung subject matter na dinidiscuss at ine-exam mo ay all about deception. And deception is what? Misleading, panluloko. Under polygraph or under light detection. Okay? Question number seven. A modern method of light detection which necessitates the use of an instrument code. Answer, class. Polygraphy, ma'am. Good. Thank you so much, Jeffrey, Micah, and whoever answers the question. Thank you so much. Yes. Tatandaan nyo, ha? Class, huwag din sagot na sagot. You need to analyze. Sambilin ko, bakit? A modern method of light detection which necessitates the use of an instrument code. So, meaning, kung modern method to, class, hindi ito old school. Okay? And you cannot apply and you cannot answer through serum. Iba yun, di ba? Iba rin yung intoxication. Iba rin lalo ang trial by ordeal. Old school na yan, di ba? Modern ng tinatanong nila. Okay? So, it's very easy. Easy dahil alam mo yung sagot and that is your final answer. No? That is polygraphy. Alright. Okay? Let me have question number 8. Intoxication is applied in lie detection. In the belief that when the person is drunk, oh, kapag daw ang tao ay laseng, he will tell the truth. So, meaning, kapag ikaw ay nakadalawa tatlong red horse, magsasalita ka. Okay? Magsasabi ka ng totoo. This belief is reinforced. Tinulungan. Okay? Sinundutan. Minarisol. Ng Latin code. Kasabihan sa Latin na ang sinasabi ay in vino veritas Which means blank. A, B, C, D. Answer, class. Delta. Delta. Very good. Thank you so much for the right and one answer only. No? Delta. Bakit kailangan natin isa-isahin, ma'am? Baka may trick question o baka may inalo pa. Bakit? In vino veritas, class, vino is wine, veritas is truth. Okay, there is truth in liquors. Why di ba mangyari yun? How can you detect deception? Kung isa sa gut mo e may katotohanan sa mga alak or binalik tadlang hindi nyo napapansin. Liquor liquors tell the truth, but wines are truth verifier. No, of course not. Hindi sila truth verifier ang mga wines na yan. But, but 
in wine there is truth yun ang kasabihan sa latin na nagreinforce doon sa sinasabi nilang intoxication so meaning pinaparapraise lang nila and then inuuli then ang pinakabuod ng tanong ay ano daw pala ibig sabihin ng in vino veritas tama? so may pagkalitong ginagawa ba? Diba? dinidefine nila yung intoxication pero wala dun yung tanong nila ang tanong nila nandoon sa reinforcement nandoon sa nagreinforce na latin code pansinin, tama? so wag malilito no? and we are here to give you final coaching because we don't want you to get confused Okay, let's go to number 9. It is scientifically proven that if a person tells a lie, the part of the body that becomes hot is blank. Answer. More. More answer. Jenny Tess, ano sa'yo? Bravo. Bravo. Oh, okay, any more Bravo. answer? Ears, ma'am. Ears. Okay, who answer Bravo? Identify yourself. Sige na. Okay, Jenny Tess. This is a matter of sharing of ideas class. Okay? Wala ditong patalinuhan sa akin, ha? Gusto ko maging magkakaibigan kayo, magkakaklasik kayo dyan sa online teaching na yan, sa coaching na yan. So, huwag mahihiya, walang matalino, pantay-pantay, nag-aaral tayo sabay-sabay. Okay, some of you answers, bravo, some, Charlie, some, wala naman sumagot siguro ng Delta, no? Okay, Jenny Tess, okay, share naman kami, baka naman, bakit mo nasabing chicks, bakit mo nasabing bravo? Based lang, ma'am, sa mga na, ano ko, ma'am, sa mga nakikita ko. Nakikita? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Jenny, ha? Walang hiyaan to, ha? Okay? Sharing tayo. Okay. Teka muna. Teka muna, Angelo, ha? Jenny! Okay. Pero hindi mo na, 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 na pasadahan nung ikaw ay nag-aaral. Hindi pa, ma'am. Alright. Thank you so much for answering. Uh, Angelo, ano answer mo? Hey, ma'am. No, siyan, ma'am. Okay, sandali lang, Angelo. Okay, may sumagot pang iba ng ears. Who answer ears? Sige, magsishare tayong ideas, eh. We need to come up with one good and final answer kasi. Okay, who answer ears? Ma'am, ako, ma'am. Okay, Christian. Magandang umaga, Christian. Okay, paano mo naman nasabi na ears? Halimbawa, go, go. Kasi minsan lang na-experience ko din sa sarili ko na umiinit din sa yung tenga. Ah, oh, umiinit ang tenga. Tama ba? Oh, so walang nagsagot ng D, ng neck, no? Okay. Okay, let me have this answer for you, class. Nakakatuwa, no? Um, sharing of ideas kasi to, ba diba? Sabi ko nga, walang grade sa akin dito. Wala lahat. Ganyan ako humawak ng klase, no? Okay. da 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 Tignan nga natin. Jenny Jenny, wow. oh, nose tayo ha Christian Christian yes, Nose, okay, Angelo Yan ba sabi mo? Yes ma'am Okay, justify your answer, dali Gusto ko namin marinig, bakit ilong mo ang umiinit Alimbawang nagsisinungaling ka Paano ba yan? Kasi si Con ma'am, napapanood ko lang ma'am Sa Pinocchio ma'am, yung nose niya yung lumalagi Kapag nagsisinungaling ma'am <laughs> Diyos Mario Yosef Binasi po laki, binokyo itong batang to. Okay, class, makinig. Nakakatuwa naman si Angelo. Binasi sa panood niya kay Pinocchio. Okay, class, makinig. It is scientifically proven that if a person tells a lie, the part of the body that becomes hot is nose. If it's based with Angelo's uh, Pinocchio, na Pinocchio syndrome tawag dyan. Alright? Angelo, ha, nakikinig ka. Pinocchio effect. No? Pinocchio syndrome Kapag po tayo ay nagsisinungaling mm, Tumataas yung temperature natin Jenny, nakaka-follow ka Jenny Christian okay, Tumataas yung temperature Pero yun not exactly tumaas na lalagdating ka no? Umiinit Hindi iinit ang pisngi mo 
hindi rin iinit ang tenga mo, pero lahat sila nagpupuntahan sa ilong mo, naggagamunggo yung pawis. Nakikita nyo ba ako habang nagde-demo ko ng ilong? Ha? Nakikita nyo, class? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma Pumupunta dito lahat yung gamunggo na pawis, no? Kasi yung body temperature mo pumupunta sa nose. At naging kaanohan na lang yung syndrome na lang yung tinatawag na Pinocchio effect. Kasi nga yung nose, kapag nagsisinungaling tayo, no? Kapag may nagsinungaling sa'yo, kapatid mo, kaibigan mo, jowa mo, no? Tignan mo yung ilong niya. No? Naggagamong gunang pawis yan. Kasi tumataas yung body heat mo, yung temperature mo. Hindi pupunta sa tenga yan. Okay, Christian? Baka litsyon niyang naaalala mo, ha? Okay? Jenny? Nose tayo, ha? Yes, ma. Ayan. Okay, ha? Tatandaan. Umaakit yung temperature mo, eh. Pumupunta lahat. So, nagkakaroon ka ng Pinocchio Syndrome. Angelo, you got the answer, but your answer is based sa Pinocchio na palabas. Pero just the same, kahit mo binase kay Pinocchio, tumama ka doon. Congratulations, Angelo. Okay. Angelo, andyan ka ba? Yes, ma'am. Okay, congrats, ha. Okay, uh, question number 10 na tayo, class. No? 10 is a kind of report daw. Makinig ulit, ha, class? Kind of report. So, meaning, ang pagkakatanong dito ay ano? Hindi sino? Hindi, hindi sino pa man, ano agad so pumasok na naman yung 5Ws and 1H okay? it's a kind of report that contains comprehensive no? and detailed explanation nandyan na lahat, detalyado ini-explain niya ang ano, yung, yung interpretasyon ng polygraph, yung resulta okay? the methods of comparing the graphic indices of truth and deception, katotohanan na may panluloko okay? so meaning class if that is the kind of question to be given on your exam, you have on your screen four choices. Okay, make a wild guess. Ano sagot nyo? Oh, make, make an answer now. State your answer. Say your answer. Anyone? Do not uh, take so much time, ha, class, sa uh, pag-iisip. Basta ito na agad ang sagot. Yeah. Charlie, ma. Charlie. Then, bravo, ma'am. Bravo. Ano pa? Charlie din, ma'am. Charlie. Charlie. Psychophysiology physiology report. Okay, makinig. Ulitin ko. Isang uri ng report na nag, nagsasabi lahat-lahat na comprehensive at detalyadong pagpapaliwanag ng resulta. No? Nung chart. Nung polygraph chart. Tatagalugin nyo rin ng konti para medyo matarok, no? o maarok nyo yung type of questioning na binigay. So, meaning, hindi siya sinabihan o hindi binanggit kung ano yung mga, what? Yung tungkol sa what? Yung mga kailanganin natin in the conduct of what? Uh, examination. Mismong ito na report na ang hinihingi. So, the answer is what? Letter B class. Tandaan ha? Polygraph report ang hinihingi. Kasi kapag polygraph examiner's report, examiner is tao. Polygraphist, like criminologist, polygraphist, therapist, tao pa rin yan. Wala namang sinabing tao rito. Ang hinihingi niya dito, class, report. Ha? Makinig mabuti, report daw, ha? So, hindi naman hinihingi niya yung psychophysiology report ng tao dahil kaya ka nagkaroon ng polygraph examination dahil mayroong participation ng isang psychophysiology ng isang tao. Andiyan ang brain, andiyan ang pulse rate, andiyan ang andiyan ang lahat. Pero ang hinihingi niya yung report ng polygraph. Okay? So the answer is B, polygraph report. Okay? Question 11, a scientific method of detecting deception with the aid of an instrument known as polygraph machine. Sagot. Polygraph, eh, ma'am. Yeah. Ano pa? Okay, wala na. Okay, the answer is what? Polygraphy. Okay, polygraph machine, hindi pwedeng sagutin yung scientific method, gawin nating polygraph. No. It's a no answer because they're asking for the methods. Okay, method is stages. Okay? May pamamaraan, may sistema. Okay, hindi pwedeng lie detector, hindi rin gamit yan. No? Hindi pwedeng lie detection, uri ng pag-examine yan, hindi naman pwede yun. Okay, but, 
the moment you've seen the word scientific method, okay, it should be polygraphy. So, gawin mo ngayon tong ano, gawin mong uh, definition, gawin mong vocabulary. Polygraphy, buuin mo. Polygraphy is the scientific method of detecting deception with the aid, may tulong ng instrument at ito ay kilala sa tawag na polygraph machine. Okay? So, polygraph is the scientific method of detecting deception with the aid of an instrument known as polygraph machine. So, the answer is delta. Bakit? Tignan mo. Polygraph is a scientific method of deception with an instrument known as, instrument known as what? Polygraph machine. Di pwedeng ganon. No? That calls for redundancy. No? Hindi naman pwedeng ganon kasi may scientific method na nga. Hindi rin pwedeng lie detection is a scientific method. Hindi rin pwede. Hindi rin pwedeng lie detector. Kasi, ang, hina, ang hinihingi sa iyo ay method scientific method so pag nakita yung scientific method at ang pagpipilian ay ang apat na yan at nandyan sa apat na yan ang salitang polygraphy you need to answer polygraphy okay nakakasunod ba class Josa May are you there Josa May meron tayo okay very good ha And precious dia, yung mga nakikita ko. Okay? Now, he coined the word polygraphy. Ito yung mga iniiwasan ng tao. Iniiwasan ng examinees. Why? Kasi ito yung tao-tao, date, taon. Kaya lang, klas, hindi yan talaga mawawala. Pero meron ako, nung mag-exam ako nung araw, um, less yung tao-tao, less yung year. Depende, no? So, minsan puro tao-tao, minsan puro years. Kasi it's a part of history. Okay? History kasi nila yan eh. So, hindi mo may iwasan. And now, here comes the number 12 question. He coined the word polygraphy. So, meaning, he. So, pertaining to a person. And that person is a male. Ano? He daw eh. He coined the word polygraphy. Pag sinabing he coined the word, siya yung nagpasimula, siya yung nagpauso, siya yung nagtag, siya yung unang gumamit. Okay? Francis Galvon can never be uh, tagged as polygraphy, no? Iba yung field of expertise niya. The same thing goes with Talbot. So much for the um, photography also. Uh, with comes of polygraph photography. Photographs in photography. Something like that. But more on photographs, no? Isaac Newton is known for calculus. So, therefore, who is the answer? Who, i who coined the word polygraphy class? Hige nga? Sabo, ma'am. Yes. Thomas Jefferson. Very good. It's Thomas Jefferson. Okay? And I would like you to be very particular about the spelling, ha? Kung dalawa yan dito, nilagay nilang Thomas Jefferson. At yung Jefferson na nilagay nilang isa ay kulang ng F. Tapos yung isa tama. At ang in-answer mo yung isang laking ang uh, F ng Jefferson niya. Mali agad yun. May ganun ah. So, I, I want you to be very particular about the spelling. Ah? Kasi hindi naman pwedeng uh, makapasa ka sa board and then here comes your career and you don't even know the right spelling. So, after din sila sa spelling, lalo na ang spelling ng DNA, MDMA, ha? Ah? So, lumalabas po yun, ha? Tandaan nyo, yung spelling, ha? Tatandaan nyo, mag-aaral mabuti sa spelling, no? Pag nagkamali, mali na. So, meaning, meron instance na dalawang tao nilalagay. Isang tao, pero dalawang klase ng spelling, ha? Be very particular about that class. So, the answer is letter B. Now, let's go to question 13. According to Thomas Jefferson, polygraph is what? Answer. Final answer lagi tayo, ha? O, answer na, class. Ano dyan? Delta, ma'am. Who answers that? May I know your name? Delta. Okay. Any more answer? Okay, class. Alpha, ma'am. Okay, Alpha. We will make a final answer for this. Tatandaan, ha? Kung ano yung sasabihin, yun na. Okay, some of you answer Delta. Everybody knows that polygraph machine is a lie detector machine. Sabi nyo, sabi nila, sabi ng everybody, no? Kasi nag-re-rely uh, kayo sa salitang lie detector. Pero hindi mo inalam 
hindi mo masyadong inaral nung ikaw ay nasa college days, ano-ano ba at saan-saan ba famous si Mr. Thomas Jefferson? Okay? Ano yung mga ba? Paano sila naging sikat? ba? Diba? A machine that can make records of physiological changes in a lying subject. A machine that can diagnose a sick person. Of course not. Hindi naman tayo nagde-detect ng may sakit dito. Hindi ito ultrasound. Okay? A lie detector machine. That's what polygraph all about. ba? Diba? Ano? Ano pa? Polygraph is what, class? The famous Thomas Jefferson is famous for what? A machine that prints make copies of a newspaper. Go with the Google, check that. No? So, meaning, hindi lang yun ang sikat kay Thomas Jefferson kasi andyan naman si Killer. Leonard Killer. Polygraph is blank. Polygraph. Everybody defined polygraph machine as part of what? No? As, uh, as what? Lie detector? Lie detection? All about lying. But meron silang field of expertise pang iba famous sila. So, please be very sure of your answer. The answer is what? Thomas Jefferson is known of his um, a declaration that a machine that prints make copies of a newspaper. Ha? Tandaan nyo. Tandaan nyo yan. Pag lumabas yung question na yan, alam nyo class yung inaaral nyo? It's a questions from the past at kung ano yung pinakakarent. So, nakarambol lang yan. So, this question may be given to you based from the past examinations or from the current. Okay? Now, all you need to do is to what? To make that mark on your mind, no? mark it on your mind that Thomas Jefferson polygraph is hindi lang lie detector machine. Meron pang mas iba. Na? Okay ba yun? Okay ba yun yung sumagot sa akin kanina ng uh, Alpha or Delta, ha? Class, tandaan, ha? Okay. Yes, yes, tandaan nyo. Please lang. Okay, question 14. A person who uses any device or instrument to test or question individuals for the purpose of detecting deception. Okay. We are going to focus ourselves na tayo ay nasa lie detection and interrogation. Okay? So, walang ibang tawag na pwede. ba? So, on the four choices on your screen, please answer now. Three, two, one. Dito. Eng, eng, eng. Ha? Delta. Delta, isa. Alpha, isa. Sino pa? Sasagot? Charlie, ma'am. Charlie. Mary Jane C. Charlie. Okay? Sige, tignan natin. Bravo, yung... Bravo. Okay. Ulitin natin yung tanong, ha? Alam ko namang nakakalito, di ba? A person. Tao, tao. Tao, tao, class, no? Tao. Na gumagamit nitong instrumento na to. Okay? Any device, Ulysses, thank you, Charlie daw, or instrument to test. Ah, Nicole, bravo. Or question individuals for detecting deception. Okay. The answer is... Da -da -da -da, makinig at tignan mabuti. Delta class. All of the above. Polygraph expert, of course, ito ay tao na eksperto sa polygraph. Polygraph is just like you pagpasado na, may peace ka na sa dulo therapist, criminologist, polygraphist radiologist may IST na sa dulo tao pa rin yan polygraph examiner is the one who conducts polygraph examination, tao pa rin yan so definitely all of the above okay, pag na-encounter ang tanong na to, ang sagot ay all of the above class, can you follow? Yes, okay. Wag nang mag-isip pa. Wag nyo nang sabihin, hindi, dapat polygraphs yun eh. Hindi, dapat ano yun eh, examiner, hindi, dapat. No! Ang tanong niya is any, any person who uses, kahit sinong tao, basta gumamit ka ng instrumento na to, eh, ang daming tawag. Diba? 
Kaya nga may sinasabing mga tawag alternate term, kahit na sinong tao, sabi, basta gumamit nito, anong tawag sa kanya? All the three quest, all the three choices pertains to one and the same subject only, and that is polygraph. So the answer is all of the above. All right, Bayon. Okay, Bayon, class. Okay, kung sino yung mag personal necessity, just um, go to the bathroom. Kung sino yung naantok, magkape. Okay. Kung may peanuts, maganda. Kain kayo dyan para mag-put for the brain. Okay, question number 15. It refers to any force or motion coming from the environment and when it reaches an organism, that organism has the tendency to arouse. Okay, sagot mga kaibigan ko. Ano sagot? Sagot. Huwag magtatagal sa isang number. Anyone? Eng, eng, eng. Oh, time is up. Ang sagot? B? Christian Mar? Leia? B? Okay. Class, do not take much of your time in one question only. I, 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 will, I won't accept late answer uh, next time. Next naman eh, no? But, you know, class, uh, gusto ko lang kasi relax lang kayo mag-aaral sa akin, ano? Ah, uh, wag kayong tumagal. No, wag na wag tatagal. Kasi kaya kayo nagtatagal, you know the reason why you are not so sure of your answer. Okay, that's the reason why in final coaching everything is what? Everything is to be given to you all the coaching types, all the techniques, all the tips for you not to make uh, so much um, time, not to uh, use so much of your time in dealing in one question only, ha? So, sobrang importante kasi yung time element, sobrang importante sa pag-exam. Alright? So, let me check the answer. Okay, congratulations sa mga sumagot ng letter B. Okay? Magandang sagot yan. You know why? Ang tinatanong po dito, class, no? Ito, ah, let me share to you. Uh, it refers to any force or motion from the environment. Uh, mga palipuligid mo. Ha? Ah, tandaan na. Kung anong sagot dito. And the organism has the tendency to arouse. That will make you feel what? Lively. That will make you feel what? Yung gaganaan ka. No? May, may inch of uh, paggana. No? Yung, mabubuhay yung kaduguan mo. Kalamnan mo. Because of these organisms from the environment. Ito yung mga tendency na para, you know, ganahan, uh, tumaas yung adrenaline mo. No? Kasi class, kapag hindi ganito yung pagsasalita, hindi mo makukuha eh. Okay? Now, dito sa Philippines class, lahat ng tao nung nagkaroon ng pandemia, naglo moral. Na wala nang gana, di ba? Let me take this as an example. Very good example. Sa Philippines, lahat low moral. Ibig sabihin, low moral, walang gana, slow pacing lahat, slow movement ang lahat. Walang pera, walang trabaho, wala lahat. But, through this ayuda, Ayuda na tinatawag, lahat ginanahan. No? Lahat nagbago. ba? Nagkaroon kasi ng arousal. No? Now, ang tawag dito sa atin is ayuda. Marinig mo lang yung salitang ayuda, nag-iiba na. No? Nag-iiba na from the environment or coming from you. May mga bagay-bagay niya. Now, ang tawag sa United States ng ayuda nila, alam nyo kung ano class? Is stimulus check. Cheke. Eh. Pero ang tawag nila, stimulus check. You know why? Kasi it has a force or motion coming from that word or environment na makakapagpataas ulit ng adrenaline nila. Sasaya ulit ang mga senior. May pagkain na, may pambili na. Kasi nag, uh, may tendency ganahan ka ulit. Okay? Emotion has nothing to do with this. Normal response of course and specific response. So the answer is stimulus no? Naintindihan nyo kaya yon class? Nakaka-follow? Yes, no. Okay, sagot ha? Sagot lang. Kung hindi, o oh, 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 open tayo, ha? Huwag tayong uh, mahihiya. Pantay-pantay tayo dito, alright? So, the answer is letter B. Dun sa sumagot ng letter B, okay, congratulations. 
And to some others na ito yung sagot na alam nila, okay, congrats. At doon sa nalito, ito yung paliwanag ko nga, okay? Uh, nakakapagpataas ng adrenaline. In any movement, motion, or force na tataas yung adrenaline mo, magogo ka, magkakaroon ng arousal, di ba? Ganado ka na. And one good example nga yung mga ayu-ayuda nung tayo'y bumaba ang uh, naglow moral. Now, 16. He wrote an essay entitled Effectual Scheme for the Preventing of Street Robberies and Suppressing All Other Disorders of the Night. Plus, final coaching. Remember, from time to time, pinapaalala ko, final answer. Okay? Kung hindi ka man nakapag-review uh, masyado, nakapag-study masyado nung araw, in final coaching, this is it. Okay? What is the answer? Come on. Uh, sino? Must try? You must try? Yeah. Letter D, Mariano. Lea A. A, ma'am. Okay. What else? Who else who wants to try? D, Sir James Mackenzie. Any more? Any more? Okay. D, Sir James Mackenzie. Okay. Sino pa? Wait. Wala na po? Okay, D. Okay, let me have you this, no? Ang tanong nila, class, writer daw po ito. Right? Ay, sorry, sorry. Ang tanong, class, is uh, the one who wrote an essay. Okay. Makinig mabuti. Doon sa mga nakakaraming sumagot ng letter D. Okay? Tignan nyo mabuti kung ano yung lalabas dyan. Kung ano yung sagot, ha? Class letter D nga, Defoe, but letter B siya. Okay? Si Defoe, si Daniel Defoe. You know why? Daniel Defoe is a journalist. Okay? Daniel Defoe wrote an essay entitled Effectual Scheme for the Preventing of Street Robberies. It's not Mackenzie. It's not even a seeker. It's not even A, Mozo. Defoe. Okay? Bakit mam siya? Siya yung sumulat. Siya yung journalist. Siya yung writer. Okay? So, si Defoe ang sagot po dyan. Okay, class? I'll change your answer to Defoe. It's not James Mackenzie. Okay? 17. Okay. He made an instrument. No? Test yourself. No? Huwag mahiya. Just test yourself kung tama o mali. Sinagot mo, then correct it. Right then and there, correct everything na medyo nagkamali ka. There's always a room for correction. So, we will proceed na. He made an instrument for Larson in which he used a breadboard as a base. And from that, it became in the industry as breadboard polygraph. Answer. Uh, try. Try, try, try. Okay, who wants to answer? A. Jessel. Mata Charlie. answers B. Charlie. And then followed by B. C. A. B. C. A. Okay. Maynard Machas. A. A ba? Alright. Sige, class, ha? Tignan natin. Ganito yan, class, no? Sino? He made an instrument for Larson. Sino yung gumawa ng instrumentong ito para kay Larson? Kung baga, nag-collab sila. Kung baga, sa vlog, no? Nag-collab. Alright. Tignan nyo kung anong expertise ni Jesse. Tignan nyo kung anong expertise ni Reed. Tignan nyo kung anong expertise ni, ni Baxter. No? But the expertise, no? Goes to what? Earl Bryant class breadboard yung expertise niya eh. siya yung nag-introduce ng breadboard na yan eh siya yung kumulab no I mean Larson pala no siya yung, sila yung nag-collab brother it's Larson nag-collab silang dalawa in-enhance nila yung pol breadboard polygraph class okay eto na eto ang tip 
class, kapag sinabing breadboard, check the first letter breadboard. It's B. Okay? Para mas madali na. Dali na. Huwag na mag-isip ng matagal. Ito na agad ang answer. Breadboard. Eh, di, di Brian. Okay ba yan? Para hindi na mahirapan. Okay? Kasi wala namang may apelidong letter B. But we're talking about sino yung tumulong kay Larson. Sino yung gumawa para kay Larson ng breadboard. No? As a base. O, oh, breadboard. O, oh, tandaan mo na agad si Brian. Okay ba yan? Prince Clifford? Andiyan ka ba, sir? Okay, tandaan yes, agad, ha? Yun na yung tips agad dun para hindi na masyadong nag-iisip. Ang hirap ba mag-isip? Okay, alam nyo, class, nahihirapan kayo kasi hindi kayo masyadong sure. Okay, so what we need to know is, uh, what we need to know and learning is the tips and techniques. no? And the final coach coming from your coach, coming from your mentor. So para hindi na masyadong mag-isip, ang daming sinagot na hindi tugma, Tignan nyo na lang yung initial ni Brian at yung kanyang breadboard polygraph. Okay, but but it's the uh, it's Earl Bryant, no? The answer talaga is Earl Bryant. Okay? Question 18, series of groups of nerve cells of the brain that controls the entire endocrine hormonal system. Okay, sagot. Try. Anyone? Ito daw ay serye at grupo, no? Grupo ng nerve cells, uh, nerve cells sa brain. Okay, that's it. Answer number 18 is hypothalamus. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit that bell button for more episodes and final coaching to watch. Okay? Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.